So, let's talk about Final Fantasy X. So, Final Fantasy X. Not that bad a game for a good while. Uh, there was that underwater makeout scene where, wait, Yuna can breathe underwater? I wasn't aware of that. All right, moving on now. You know, pretty fight times, hack and slash, good stuff. Then, final battle comes. The big final battle, right in every RPG ever. The big final battle is a thing that you're building up to since the beginning of the game. That's the big god monster fuck thing that made all the bad stuff happen, and now it's time you put a sword or a thing inside of it until it's dead, and you win. It's the big epic final confrontation, the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. But that's where Final Fantasy X crossed that line with me and pissed me off because you can't die in the final battle. You can't die in the final. You can't. It's not possible. I've tried. You can't die in the final battle at all, period. Like, okay, there's the battle with Jax, you know, and you fight him, and that's a joke, but at least you can die in the fight if you're sleeping. If you're sleeping in the final battle, you're still not going to lose. You go to sleep for eight hours, wake up, and you had, you know, triangle mash so, or X mash so that attacks are still happening. You're not going to be dead. You probably won while you were asleep because you have auto life the entire battle. All the way, it doesn't wear off or anything. It's always on. Auto life forever. If you die a hundred times, you come back for the hundred and first. Where's the tension? That's the thing. Where is the tension? There, if there is no chance of failure, there is no tension. That's one of the ultimate core rules of writing, drama, storytelling. If the hero doesn't have at least a presented chance of failure, even if we all know in the story he's obviously not going to fail or the story ends. You know, that presented chance of failure, the illusion of challenge at least, is what makes the story have tension, drive, narrative. It's, it's important then. There's a fight. There's drama. He could lose. Oh no. Not in this fight. You have a little halo over your head that tells you for certain you can't lose. So, challenge in video games. Where's it going? This isn't just FF10. FF10 was just an egregious example of what I'm talking about, which is challenge in video games, especially RPGs. I'm looking right at you, RPGs. You, Japan. Where's the challenge? Where's, where's that big final battle where you're swearing at the screen because it's so hard and you got to figure out that stuff or you're just going to lose? Where is it? Because that's the kind of fight I want. I want the fight that makes me scratch my head and go, ah, how do I figure it out? Because, you know, it's a challenge, and I want to play the game to overcome the challenge and not a feel-good wank fest. Sorry. I'll watch a movie for that. If I want to play a game, I want a challenge. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong at this point. Maybe things have changed since I was a kid, where we were playing games to be challenged. You want a story and all that, too. Yes, don't get me wrong. Story's great. Graphics are good. But if there is no challenge, you have no drama, no tension. Okay, the heroes are tap dancing their way to victory. Why do I care? This is a, this is a one-sided, you know, crippled versus a fist fighter. Like, there's nothing interesting there, okay? The guy's going to push the dude in the wheelchair down the stairs, he's going to fall. I, I know what's going to happen. If it's not an equal fight, or at least the illusion of an equal fight, it's not interesting. And FF10's final fight doesn't even pretend to give the merest chance of illusion. Like, okay, the tick at the end. Spoilers. When you fight Sin, he has one attack. Well, one, the other thing he can do isn't even attack. He can heal himself for 99,999. Okay, seems bad, right? And he can do percent-based health damage. Okay, so he can't kill you. Literally. To start, he has percent-based damage. That's it. And, okay, so already he can't kill you. That's bad. Then, he's not immune to status effects. So anyone who's played 10 already knows where this is going. Turn the final boss into a zombie. He heals himself to death. You can just sit back and laugh, I guess, because you don't have to push anything else besides past turns until he's dead. That is so opposite of a challenge or a climactic final battle that you, you finish the game being like, well, what did I do? Like, well, okay, I guess I won. What happened? You just left with this sense of confusion, almost loss. Like you were building up to something that was never given to you. There was a promise made, and it wasn't delivered. 